Hey guys, so I am in my Volkswagen Golf City Strummer and I am going to try this uh, Shadow Moo DC charging out today once more time or for the third time actually. <laughs> so first I did a video and I failed completely and then I did some research and I did find that I cannot use uh, PDM units together with this Resolve EV controller that are newer than 2018. So I have now changed that to the original one that are from 2014. I did change it because I would like to have the option to sh charge it with 6.6 kilowatt. But now I have to be uh, satisfied with the 3 kilowatt charger instead. I think there is a 6.6 kilowatt uh, option even on the older ones, but that's not what I have here. Uh, so, I have now changed that PDM back to the 2014 one and uh, then I went down and tried that uh, Shadow charging out and I was failing one more time. I don't have that on video, but... Uh, well, I have it on video, but it was no idea to film it because it failed exactly the same as the first time. So, um, well, I just went back home and I did some more research and uh, I did not find anything special, but what I did find was that the, the software in the Resolve EV controller was uh, not the latest one. I don't know how old it was, but uh, it was not the latest one. So I just decided to update that one and uh, here we are. So now it's time to try it out for the third time. So yeah, let's go. And as always, <laughs> very welcome guys. So this was not good. I have to try to find another one. So, uh, yeah, that was not so good. I think that I uh, need to try to find another one. And it's a lot of Teslas here, by the way. And uh, you can also see it's a lot of charging stations here. So it's a really big uh, charging place. Yep, whatever. I cannot use those at the moment. I need this uh, Shadow type instead. So uh, let's go on and uh, keep on searching here. So I mean, this is not the first time I have seen those broken earlier. And uh, that's not good at all because there are not so many of them. So it's really important that uh, the, the few ones that uh, uh, are out here <laughs> are in use and not broken all the time. Oh, this car is so fun to drive. It's so quick in some way. It's, uh, you can almost feel how light it is. So the weight is only 1160, 1160 kilos. So it's uh, really light. And uh, even with this uh, Nissan setup, I mean, it's not the strongest one, but <laughs> it's more than enough for, uh, for this car. I see my friends here. So this is not good at all. I just have to uh, check for another one. And uh, I mean, there are not so many places that you can do this shadow charging. It's much uh, more common with the CCS charging stations and the Tesla stations of course but uh, yep yeah, I have to keep on looking here <laughs> 
So we are now at uh, around 58% state of charge and we have a cell temp at uh, 25 degrees. So I think it will be just perfect to uh, come in and try the fast charging. So I really hope that this is working now and also that it is free because I don't want to wait like uh, forever. Yeah, it's free. It's not occupied. So I have arrived with 52% state of charge and we have a cell temp at 25 degrees. So pretty much spot on to do this fast charging or DC charging. It's a little tight but it will work. So oh, now it's connected. <laughs> so we are now fast charging with 32-ish kilowatt. <laughs> fast and fast, but it's 10 times faster than I am used to. So that's just great, but what is going on with the state of charge? I mean, we had 25 on the charging station and we have 56 now in the BMS. I have to write to uh, Isaac about that and ask him if he knows. So that was a little strange. Uh, I am going to stay here for a while and see how the temperature will uh, behave and how fast that the temperature will rise because it will uh, rise of course because I don't have any thermal handling here. So normally that's not a problem, but of course when you are DC charging it with this power, the temperature will definitely go up. But you also have to keep in mind that those modules that I have here, they can take up to, I think it was around 150 kilowatt of DC charging. So it's, I mean, 35-ish kilowatt is not so much at all. But anyway... We have now been charging for around five minutes and uh, we are going to take a look at the temperatures again. It's not so much of a difference there, but uh, we can see that it is uh, climbing. So uh, I think that the one uh, DC charging session will be uh, just fine uh, if you do one trip. And I think that I have a range at maybe 35 uh, Swedish miles to 40 miles or 350 kilometers to uh, 400 kilometers. And uh, if I charge it one time, that's uh, probably no problem whatsoever. But two and then maybe three times, that will definitely be too much. I'm pretty sure about that. Because there, there will also be some heat when uh, I am driving, but that is very minor, but there is some heat that is going to be uh, developed in the modules but i'm not sure how much i i don't see anything when i am using the car for daily use but uh, yeah you never know so let's go out and take a look at the charger again this is rising way too fast for a 40 kilowatt hour bms so i don't think that the bms and the charger is uh, talking with each other. I definitely have to write and ask Isaac about this. So I am even more confused. So we have 100% state of charge and we are still charging with around 20 kilowatt and the BMS are reporting 70, 75% state of charge. So it's perfectly fine to still charging, but the, this is definitely strange. So now I even have more questions. <laughs> this is so strange.
So it's now a few days later and I am now slow charging it with only 3 kW and uh, that's why you hear the cooling pump here. So uh, anyhow, I don't really know what to do about this state of charged stuff. I will keep you posted down in the description section if I have any news about that. Anyhow, I don't think that this will be any problem for me because I know about it and I will not leave this car by its own when I am fast charging it. I will always check the state of charge and I think that it uh, is something that you always should do if you have built anything. I mean, you can never trust that uh, everything should work the first time. So uh, I will now just uh, charge it up to 100% and then go back to this charging station and uh, and see if uh, it stopped to charge the car when the BMS is reporting 100% just to see if everything is working as it should be and then about the temperature I mean I am a little surprised here I charged the battery with 8.75 kilowatt hours and the temperature only raised around 3.5 degrees so that is uh, actually not so much that I had expected so maybe if I come in with an even lower stage of charge and the kilowatt really go up, I have seen around 43 kilowatt as a maximum. And then I think that the temperature will of course raise a little faster, but maybe only for a short period of time. So I had some plans that I might do some thermal handling to this battery this winter, but it's a lot of work and I am not really sure if it is worth it because I am charging this car to 99.9% at home. So, uh, well, it's probably not worth it. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything for this video for this week and this update on this uh, city streamer. So thank you so much guys for watching this one and I really hope I see you next time. So take care and goodbye.